Hey guys, I'm just continuing straight on from the previous video. So we're now going to be using the two theoretical principles we um, developed in the previous video to work out our shear. And as I said, we're going to be doing it for three different cases, 1.2G, 1.5Q, and these two earthquake cases. We've eliminated that one because it never ever actually formed our envelope. So we're first going to find the UDLW. So just to show you where we're going, we eventually want to get an equation moment of x just in terms of x. We want to be able to put, sub in everything just so we have x squared, x's and constants. Okay. So the first thing we want to find is w, the, the um, UDL. So we're going to be using this principle, the second principle we looked at just now. We're going to be using that principle. So we rearrange that to get w is 8 times the absolute value of m on l squared. Now to find this value, we come over to our diagram. And just so you know, I'm going to be doing the shear envelope just for um, the mid span, which is the 10 meter span. All right. So if you wanted to do it for the entire beam, you would have to do it for the eight meter span, which is repeated as well as the 10 meter span. So you'd have to do it twice. I'm just going to be doing it once for the 10 meter span to show you how to do it. So we're just going to be designing for shear in the 10 meter span, not the eight meter spans. So we need to know M, the distance, the total moment from the maximum um, sagging moment all the way to connected to M1 and M2. So M1 and M2, so 1.2 G and 1.5 Q is the blue line, the blue parabola. So there's M1 and there's M2 for the blue parabola. So M1, M2. So what we would have to do is connect them up. And we would need to find the distance from that blue line I've just drawn all the way to the bottom. So this distance like that. Okay. So the distance I've drawn in there. Now all it's going to be is this moment, which is 1,100 1, 1, is that line there. And this line is at roughly 5,500. So if we add those two values together, 1,100 plus 550, we get 165 